Hey, Crazy Will with another Crazy Will quick tip. I was messing around with iMovie, because that's the software I'm using now, and the reason why I'm using that software is it's free, okay? My probably software of choice to use would be Adobe Premiere back in my video editing days. I use Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro, and a little bit of Final Cut, and then After Effects in between those. But now, you know, I'm paying for it, this channel's still new, until I start making some revenue on it, I'm not, I'm not gonna invest crazy money into programs, but enough about that. I made all my videos on iMovie, which does, I feel, a pretty good job for a free piece of software, but saving it is a real pain in the butt. I find that uh, there was a whole bunch of tutorials on how to save it, and everything was different, and you know, I, from nine to 10 to 11, it changed. This is what I found. This is a disclaimer. You know, this was me playing with it. I backed up to Time Machine first. Before you do anything, back your machine up to Time Machine. I will have a video out for that eventually because that's another thing that a lot of people don't know how to do and they're just not doing. But back it up to Time Machine and then try this technique and see if it works for you. This is what worked for me. So let's get started with that, shall we? All right, so we're in this screen. Uh, I made up two dummy projects and each project has transitions. So you could see the transitions. I put some in there and I put a title on this one. And I just threw these together real quick because I already cleaned out this iMovie on my uh, laptop. So, okay, so these are the projects. Um, what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna go to media. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the library and you're going to consolidate media into library. And you should see that consolidating media will copy all files into library. You hit OK. Um, there is no media, so that means we're good. So if you get this, that means all your video has been imported into iMovie. So that way it'll be grabbing the clips. Now, now I, I do recommend wherever you have the original video stored, to make sure that you do store uh, that you do back up the original uh, footage as well. This is mainly for the projects, so that way later on, if you want to go back and edit it, you could do it. So we have the projects here. If we go into media, those are the projects. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new library. I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't have an external drive hooked to this, but we're going to create a new library. A file, open library, new. And uh, I'm going to call it Backup. Okay, and I'm just going to put it to the desktop for now. And we're going to save that. Now, if you go into Backup, there is no project or media or anything. And what we're going to do now is we're going to close out of iMovie. And then once we're closed out of iMovie, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a Finder window. We're going to go to whatever your computer name is. Uh, under mine, it's actually WG Designs because this is the one for my business. You click on that one, and then we're going to look for movies. And this right here is your iMovie library. Um, what we're going to do right there is, if you right-click on this file right here, and if you're on a laptop, it's double-click, uh, double-finger, and you go to Show Package Contents, you will see there's the movie and there's movie one. Those are the two movies that I made for fakes. Now what we'll do is if you go, this is the backup right here, and this could be, you, you know, you, you, we're just building this file. You can move it to an external drive or it could actually be on an external drive. We're going to go into this one, and if you go into show package contents, you'll see that it's all the basic information in here. So what we're going to do, so what I did was um, I deleted everything out of the backup file and we're going to go over to the original iMovie library file and we're going to copy everything and uh, you click on the top one and then hold down on shift and then click on the bottom one and then you're going to double finger tap or if you're on a regular Mac right click and then copy night items and paste nine items. We just wait for that to transfer over. 
Alright, so now that's done, we're going to shut that. Now if we open up this backup into iMovie, there's your projects. If you go to media, you should have all your events, your library, and so forth and so on. And now you could you could ultimately move that over to the next one. And now you how you know is when you go into projects, you're in backup. This is backup. So now if I open up uh, the original iMovie, we'll, which we'll go back, the original iMovie uh, file, which is this one. If we open that one up, see now we're actually opening it up from the original uh, location. And now if you click on show all, there should be doubles of everything. Now if you click on the backup, that's backup. And if you click iMovie library, which was our original library, it's the same stuff. So that's how you can tell, and you could actually put that on an external hard drive, and then, you know, if you want to reference back to it, let's say you're done with these edits, you want to throw them onto your hard drive, uh, your external hard drive, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. And then later on, you're like, oh, I would like to tweak that a little bit and redesign it. That way you can. And now if I close this all out, and I just open up the original library, okay, this is the original library. Now if I delete all this stuff, let's say I say, ah, I don't want this anymore, I delete this project. Continue, I don't want this anymore, delete this project. Okay, so now those projects are gone. And this library doesn't show up, the backup doesn't show up because we haven't activated it yet. You actually have to click on the library or load it in. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to move this down. And I'm going to double click on the backup. Now the backup's in here. And if you go to projects and you scroll down out of the, out of the original library into backup, bam, there's your projects again. And if you click in there, you can see all the transitions, the titles, everything is back the way it was. And that's how you back up with iMovie. I hope that helped. Uh, like I said, a disclaimer, this is just the technique that I used. It worked for me. Try it on yours. Let me know in the comments below if it worked for you guys. Remember to back up to Time Machine first. That's the first thing you do before you do anything. And that's it. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Later. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.